Cambridge Dictionary defines branding as the act of giving a company a particular design or a logo to advertise its products and services. When somebody says branding, what do you think of? Do you think of a logo, a slogan, or a color palette? Well, what if I told you that none of these things alone are brand? That Cambridge Dictionary definition may have been accurate several years ago, but in our current day and age, it's woefully undersimplified. A brand is so much more than just one logo or one slogan. So if you're a small business owner struggling with your brand, or you're just starting out and want to develop your brand, you'll want to watch this video all the way through so that you can see how Canva can help you develop your brand and, most importantly, keep it consistent. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Willow and I've been using Canva for years and now I use it daily for my business. And my channel is dedicated to showing everyone all the amazing things that you can do with Canva, especially for small business owners like me. So be sure to hit subscribe and that notification bell so you'll be notified every week when a new tutorial comes out. Today, we're gonna to talk about branding and how Canva can help you develop your brand. I follow Kenny Song on Instagram. He's a brand designer with over 40 years of experience and he shares amazing content. And he has a quote that just really resonated with me and it just sticks with me. He said, what they say about you is branding and what you say about yourself is advertising. And that's just so true. Yes, your brand is your logo, but it's so much more. It's also the most important asset of your business, which is why it's so crucial to get it right and keep it consistent. Your logo, your slogan, your color palette, your fonts, but it's also your core values and your mission and your vision and the personality you and your business show are all part of your branding. The things that make you and your business uniquely special. What makes your business shine? And does your branding convey that message? Before you can really start developing your brand, you have to narrow down your niche. I know we hear it all the time, niche down, niche down. But the truth of the matter is, is that you can't be all things to everyone all the time. And knowing your target audience is really crucial to developing your brand. For example, if your audience is mainly geared towards males, you don't want to develop a brand that's super feminine. The more you know about your ideal client, who that person is, things they like, things they do, where they live, what's their age, are they married, are they single, do they have children, what are their hobbies? All of these things really come into play when you're trying to niche down to develop your brand. You zero in on exactly who your customer is. And you might be thinking, but I don't want just one customer. I want lots of customers. Well, that might be true, but that one ideal customer, there's going to be millions other just like them. I hear people say all the time that content is king. Well, content might be king, but your branding is the queen that holds the keys to the castle. And Canva can absolutely help you develop your brand and more importantly, keep it consistent. So let's jump into the computer and we'll start creating a Canva brand guide that you can follow along and use to develop your own brand guide. Canva can help you with your branding by creating a brand guide, which is basically an instruction manual on how your brand should be communicated. To find one, we're going to use a template and we're gonna to go to the search bar, type in brand guide, make sure you're on templates and click enter. And all of these different templates come up. Some of them are multiple pages. I highly recommend a one page template so that you have all of your information on one page. So I've already picked one and this is what the template looks like. Like any other Canva template, you're going to edit it to put in your information. So on this, I'm just going to delete the things that we don't need very quickly. And I'm going to change this picture out. I created some graphics for us to use. This is our pretend 
brand. So we're just going to plug in our stuff into the template. Just delete what you don't need, what you're going to change out, and then you add what you do need. So on the style guide, you can see basically you're going to have all of your business information right on one page. And so for the color scheme, if you don't already know your hex codes, I'm going to show you how to find them. Pick on the circle. Let me zoom in just a bit. So now you can see that each circle has the hex code underneath of it. And in order to find the color and the hex code, you're going to go to the color box, custom color box, pick the color tool and go to the main color. Click on it and it changes the circle to that color. And this is your hex code here in this box. Highlight it, control C, come over here in this text box, control V. And now you have your color and your hex code. Do the same thing with the next one. Very quick and easy. That's the great thing about Canva templates. They just make things quick and easy. So now anytime you want to create something for your business and you want to use your brand colors, you have your color palette here and their hex codes. So you can use the hex code to get the exact color that you want. And now we're to the fonts. So you want to have two different fonts. You want to make sure that your first one is easily readable. So highlight your text box, go to your drop down box, and then pick your text and change that to that text. And then over here, you want to go back and change this one as well. And in this box here, this is the name of your text. So this is the seasons. Then we're going to change that. And then on this text box, you want to change it as well. And then this gives you an example of what all your letters and numbers and most used symbols look like in that text. Now, your second text can be a little more fancy, but you still want it to be readable. Highlight your text box and come back over to the drop down menu for the fonts and pick your font. Come back over to this box and change it as well. Okay, we've got our first two fonts, and then this is going to be your body text font. This is another one that you, you can use the same as your main font. You just want to make sure that it's super readable. You can also make it a different font as well. And what I would do is highlight all of this and I would type the name of that font. I would go in and type the alphabet that way that you know what the um, letters are going to look like when you use it. So now on your brand guide, you've created your color palette, your fonts, and then you see down here, they have pictures. This is kind of like a mood board. It's kind of helped keep you on brand, keep you inspired. Also, you can post pictures here that you're going to use a lot and just change that out. And we're going to add in another one. And we're going to delete this text and delete this symbol. Let's delete that and add this one. And I'm going to send this one back. And the great thing about a style guide, a brand guide, is that you can create it the way you want it. It does not have to be exactly like the template. It's all about what works for you. And there's our style guide. If you're just not thrilled with the color palette of your brand guide or even the colors that you pick, Canva has a really neat option and you want to go to styles. And on styles, they have all of these different color palette and font sets. So to use one of these, you want to click all on the color palettes and it has all of these different options for color palettes. And if you click on it, it automatically changes your brand guide. And then you go back and they have fonts and it works the same way. They have all of these font pairings and you can go through and pick one of those. If you want a color combination and font combination, this is one of the neatest things I think Canva has for our brand guide. These are color combinations as well as font combinations. So let's pick one Go with this one. So it automatically changes the colors on your brand guide as well as the fonts. And if you don't like the way the first one looks, come back over and click this shuffle button and it will change it and click shuffle again. And it literally will shuffle through all the colors in this color palette until you find something you like. And if this color palette 
palette, if you shuffle through it and you don't like it, don't find anything you like, you can pick another one and it will go through the whole color palette and the fonts again. So it can literally pick your colors for you. And now you have your brand guide. I have printed my brand guide out in full color and I keep it in the front cover of my business planner so that I have it handy and readily available every time I need it. And then I also want to share a couple of other resources with you. The first one is my friend and mentor Sandra D has a fantastic class on Creative Fabrica on how to develop a brand as a freelance graphic designer. You don't have to be a graphic designer to take this class. It's very clear, it's very concise, and Sandra just helps you break everything down and create your own brand. And then the other resource is a group on Facebook called How to Sell Products Online. The founder, Heather Slauson Robert, is super knowledgeable. This group is more about a product-based business. So if you have a product-based business, I highly recommend that you join this group. Heather shares fantastic information all the time to help small business owners grow their business. I really hope that you found this video helpful and that it gave you some really good ideas and some tips and tricks to get you started. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to post them in the comments below and I'll get back to you just as quickly as I can. Don't forget, hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every week when a new tutorial comes out. And I'll see you next week. And until then, make it a great week and have fun with your Canva. Thank you.